In this video we'll briefly discuss what is Remipril, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Remipril is an antihypertensive agent, that belongs to a category of drugs called angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. It competitively inhibits angiotensin converting enzyme, preventing conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, which is a potent vasoconstrictor. Clinical consequences include decreased sodium and fluid retention, decreased blood pressure, and increased diuresis. So it is used in the management of hypertension, congestive heart failure, myocardial infarction and stroke prevention. Remipril is available as 1.25, 2.5, 5, and 10 mg tablets. The usual initial dose of Remipril for hypertension is 2.5 mg once daily. That may be increased up to 20 mg per day, in one or two divided doses. Therapy is initiated at 1.25 mg per day, in patients receiving diuretics. And the maintenance dose is 2.5 to 20 mg per day, as single dose or two equally divided doses. For congestive heart failure, the usual initial dose is 1.25 to 2.5 mg every 12 hours. That may be increased if tolerated, up to 5 mg every 12 hours. And the maintenance dose is 5 mg every 12 hours. For myocardial infarction and stroke prevention, the usual initial dose is 2.5 mg once a day for one week, then 5 mg once a day for three weeks then increase as tolerated to 10 mg once a day. Remipril may cause hypotension, dry cough, hyperkalemia, increases potassium in the blood, headache, dizziness, nausea, and abnormal kidney function. And it may rarely cause allergic reactions, angioedema, hepatitis, neutropenia and granulocytosis. Remipril dosage should be reduced in patients with renal impairment. Potassium sparing diuretics such as spironolactone shouldn't be combined with Remipril. If possible, diuretics should be discontinued two to three days prior to Remipril therapy. And if diuretic cannot be discontinued, dose reduction of Remipril is required. This drug may cause chronic dry cough. So notify your healthcare provider if cough becomes bothersome. Also notify your healthcare provider prior to using salt substitutes containing potassium, and before taking any over-the-counter medications. And if you suffer from persistent rash, angioedema, abdominal pain, jaundice, excessive fatigue, irregular heart rate, or chest pain. And of course avoid abrupt discontinuation of therapy unless instructed by your healthcare provider. Remipril may also cause drowsiness, so use caution while driving or performing other tasks requiring mental alertness. And also avoid sudden position changes, to prevent orthostatic hypotension. Try to maintain adequate fluid status, and to avoid dehydration, perspiration, or overhydration. And finally, it's really important to follow non-medical interventions, to control hypertension such as weight control, sodium and alcohol restriction, smoking cessation, and regular exercise. That's all for this video. Subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.